When we did our first fund, we were quite careful to adhere to certain limits and to construct a portfolio that was broadly balanced between the different sectors, um, particularly the core sectors, and then a little bit of sort of, you know, operating hotels in the side. Um, with our subsequent funds, what we've done is we've actually broadened that. And the reason why we broaden that is because fundamentally real estate is completely correlated. If the market crashes, everything goes and doesn't matter whether you've got retail loans or industrial loans or office loans, etc. It, it all goes. Um, it's more about the individual loan and making sure that it's structured in a way that hedges that downside as much as it possibly can. It isn't about whether your loan is in that sector or that sector. It's all about the structuring of that loan and making sure that that's as low a risk as, as it possibly can be. So, so I think that when we look at portfolio construction, we do actually broadly end up with, you know, sort of a third, a third, a third, and then with a little bit on the side. Um, but there are sectors that we favour. Um, so um, I massively favour the industrial sector. Um, because it performs well in a downturn. Um, very careful, obviously, about retail for lots of reasons. Um, and we do a little bit of offices. I think the office market has fared relatively well because so much stock's been taken out of the supply chain. Uh, we do a little bit of hotels. So it also depends on where we feel the real estate market is in terms of particular sectors or that location. Um, also, it does depend who the borrower is, because the thing about loans is that loans are only as good as the real estate that you underwrite and the person who's managing that asset. Mm -hmm. So it does depend who the sponsor is in terms of you know where we where we pick and choose to lend.